Hi, everybody. It is time for social studies today. And this week in social studies, we are learning about the Native Americans in Texas. So we're going to learn about one tribe a day. And today I am going to teach you about the Caddo Indians. All right. So at the very end of this power, this lesson, I'm going to post a little passage and we're going to go over and read this together. And I'm also going to post some questions. So make sure you're paying attention because your assignment every day is you're going to fill out some questions over the Native American tribe that we go over that day. So today is the Caddo Indians. You're going to learn today um, how the Native Americans came to te Texas, who lived in Texas before the European exploration, and Native Americans in Texas today. That's what we're going to learn about this week. So around 25,000 years ago, the continents Asia and North America were connected. Isn't that weird? I never thought about them being connected before, but they're thought to be connected by something called Beringia. People might have walked across the Bering Land Bridge or followed the shoreline with boats. They think that they were probably looking for some food. Early people who lived in Texas, they didn't have a written history because they didn't write, but scientists have learned about um, native Texans, sometimes called Indians, by the artifacts they left. So they left things like pottery. You can see some pottery right there on that picture on the left. Um, tools like those arrowheads, other weapons. They have left those around, and that's how we know a little bit about the Native Americans. So we are going to talk about the Caddo Indians. The Caddo Indians lived in the coastal plains region. Remember, if I do my fingers like this, we have our coastal plains region, which is right on this shoreline right here. We have our mountains and basins. We have the Great Plains and we have the Central Plains. And they live in the coastal plains region of Texas in the piney forests. So they used to they use those really tall trees you see there, and they would build these round beehive-shaped houses, which is kind of weird. They're very, let me go to this next slide. You can kind of see them there. There's like little pokey things up, but there's like a little beehive. And those um, two people at the very top are like cinching them together, I guess, for their roof. So this is a painting by the artist Nola Davis, and it shows how the caddos, they all work together to build their homes. They were sedentary. Um, and sedentary means that they lived in one place. They didn't move around. So some Indians were, or Native Americans, they were nomadic. That means that their shelter, they had to be able to pick up and move because they moved around from place to place to place to place. But the Caddo Indians were very sedentary. They did not move around. They stayed in one place. They were great farmers. They learned to row take their crops in their fields each year so the soil would retain its nutrients. It retain its nutrients. It would keep its nutrients. And we're going to, some of the information we're going to go over in a minute. They were um, farmers and hunters. The women would plant corn, beans, pumpkins, sunflowers, and then they would cook cornbread, soups, stews. And sometimes when available, the men would hunt deer, quails, turkey, and small game, and they also fished in the rivers. This is the typical appearance of a Caddo Indian. Both men and women would tattoo their faces in all of their bodies. The men, as you can see, would shave their heads, except for like one strip down the center. Um, they were also wore something called breech cloths, which were like leather leggings to protect their legs. And the women wore skirts and deerskin tops. Both men and women had earrings and they had moccasins. When it was cold, they wore buffalo robes. Um, like you see here, they shaved their head and they wore it in a mohawk style, but women wore their hair long, like in a bun or in a braid. And they often put bird feathers or animal fur in their hair to decorate it. Pretty cool, right? Both men and women like to decorate their bodies. Men liked body art and jewelry, body art like tattoos, jewelry, hair decorations, ear piercings. Um, women preferred tattooing their bodies and also their faces. So women had a lot of tattoos on their face. The Caddo's, um, 
built large earthen mounds that were used to bury their religious leaders when they died. Scientists found many Kadoan artifacts in these mounds. So um, another thing that we haven't mentioned is they lived as a confederacy. And a confederacy is a group of people who work, they all work together for one common goal. So for example, during planting season, the cattle gathered from the neighboring villages and they worked together to plant all the fields until all the fields were completed. They also worked together to create their bee sh beehive shaped houses. So let's go back and look at those beehive shaped houses. Yeah, they worked together to create those houses and um, the houses were made from wood frames and they covered those with long mats of long grass. So one house could fit 30 people. One house could fit 30 people. Isn't that crazy? I also want to go back to the artifacts that some of these people had. Um, in the Caddo tribe, the women made bows and arrows. So kind of like that arrow that you see there. And they created um, clay pots and utensils, kind of like that pottery. And they were so important to the men and the women of the tribe. They were often buried with them when they died. So like it said here at the very end, how they buried them, sometimes they were buried with the things that they made, like the bows and the arrows and the um, pots and the utensils. Um, finally, just one last thing before I let you go on and move to your little assignment. They lived in permanent houses and they were very friendly with most of the Native American tribes around them. Not all Native American tribes were friendly. So we'll find that out later on that not all of them were very nice. But the Caddo Indian tribe was very, very, very nice to the neighboring tribes around them. All right, so for your assignment today, we're going to stop there because tomorrow we're going to do the Karankawa Indians. But for your assignment today, you are going to have both this page, which I already went over with you, and you're going to have this page, and it asks you questions. I'm giving you both of these because if you don't remember what I taught in the lesson, you can read through this to get your answers for this. So just use that PDF pen, add some text box in there, draw your pictures with the pen, type out your answers. You can print this out and you can write them in there. Um, but we're going to do one of these a day and I'm going to grade them for your social studies grades this um, the six weeks. All right, guys. I hope you learned a little bit about Caddo Indians. Tomorrow we're going to learn about Karankawa Indians or Karankawa. Everybody says it a little bit different. I'm not for sure the pronunciation, but that'll be super fun. Y'all get to learn about all these different um, people that lived in Texas before we did. All right. I love y'all. Have a great day.